The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour on this Monday. On this Monday, the something that I wrote about 10, 10 times. What is the 7th? The 7th of March. 10 times must have been 20 times. All right, 7th of March and a very interesting session. A couple of reasons why it's so interesting, and we'll get into that in a moment. Uh, first, let me say uh, welcome. I'm here Monday through Friday, Tiger Technicians Hour, 11 o'clock till noon. 877-927-6648 is the number to call. Hey, nice programming we've had this morning. A lot of assessments of the market. Let me give you my uh, opinion. Dow's up 14 at 17,021. This is, um, let me go right there. We'll go one at a time. Here we go. Move that away. We're in leg E, peak E actually in the 120 minute chart. I think we're about to stall here just momentarily. I had uh, on Friday a Chapman Wave trend gauge flash to suggest that um, there will be a sudden pullback in the Dow regardless of where the futures are uh, on Sunday night into Monday. And then there should be a rally attempt. That's exactly what we got. So here, Let's see, what's the time? 11, uh, 10 minutes, um, 7 minutes past 11. So at this particular point, the day, the real day has begun. Now we're going to see what uh, this market is made of. We've had a sp stupendous move um, off the lows, especially off the low of the 11th, around about the 11th of uh, uh, February. And as I'm looking at this, there are a couple of things that are going on. The Dow has just stopped dead right at the 200 period exponential moving average, that orange line for my subscribers. Wow, I don't even know how many charts I sent out. It must have been 12, 13 charts over the weekend, plus uh, the, the, those that I added today. Now, what's really important about it is that I was showing there are a couple of things going on. Really important, time-wise, price-wise, cycle-wise. Just This is very, this is an important week. This is not as important as some of the other weeks that we've had, but it could turn out to be very important if certain things happen. Otherwise, it's just the status quo. Let me explain what I mean. You see the way the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence in this daily chart is acting in the Dow? Let me show you something. Stopped right there at the 200 period from moving average. Did we make a new high today? No, 062. 052. So that D stays over there. So this will be a peak D if there's no new high today in the daily chart. But the MACD is holding really well. Stochastic has just crossed negative, but it's at 98%. Holding in the 98, between 98 and 95 is really important. Okay, so let's just get that out of the way and we say, as it stands right now, there are no signals to say that there could be a major turn to the downside. There are a couple of signals flashing right here on the on the screen, like you can see in this daily chart. That's the monthly. Spent a lot of time on monthly charts uh, over the weekend, weekly and monthlies. But anyway, the daily chart suggests we started to bump into some resistance. Let me explain why. You see that 200 period exponential moving average. It broke down. The Dow broke under it on the 4th of January, plummeted from about the 17,200s, or at that, that point, way down to 15,450. Then it had a bounce that I've called the arch formation, lowercase h, had a successful test of a higher low at 15,503, then ran up. So you, what you've got here is this pattern right here that I show my subscribers every day. You see that soft W pattern? Well, sharp down, then it's the U-shaped pattern rather than the V that makes the W the uppercase W, but then what happened is successful test, and now we've shot back up. We haven't gone back to the high of 17,750 on the left side where the, the, the turn down started. That's still 700 points. That's a lot of points to go. However, this is what's really important. So far, we have avoided that H pattern. So now let me go back to the charts, and I'll show you the parameters we can look at. If the Dow takes out yesterday, uh, Friday's high of 17,062.38, today, 
That extends D. And that will extend the stochastic in the 90, mid-90s to higher area, and that's really positive. On balance, volume still looks like it could go higher before it becomes vulnerable to a turn down. I have a couple of little indicators within this that are saying, hey, hey, be a little careful here. This is maybe not where you want to be adding positions, rather waiting for a pullback. It's also not where you want to short. I had this whole thing over the weekend saying, ah, great, we're going to pick this top and we're going to call it a D, and we're going to pull back, and you can pull back to the 16,800, 16,700 level. Let's go. Let's take our profits in our long positions. We are long um, the Dow, number of positions, and, um, uh, and and then switch back to the from the short side. We'll take our profits, go to the short side, and then when the Dow comes down to those levels, we'll switch to the to the long side. And then I said, oh, you, you've got the trend. Twice now you've picked up beautiful positions almost at the lows of that particular um, phase. Why would you be wanting to change the position now? Because if you lowered your stop, you'll get taken out, um, which is fine. But if the market keeps going a little higher, you've gone at another point or maybe even more. And all you've done is stayed in position. There's no trade. You're not worried. You don't have to do anything. Stay there. So that's what I decided. And a number of things. I wanted to short gold. I thought, wow, I've got all these Ds and Es coming up in the gold uh, gold continuous contract and the GLD and the this and the that and the XAU and the HUI. And I said, wait a minute. This is a, this is a major breakout in the metals. That's why we have an ETN based on uh, crude oil and, and gold and, and uh, look at this. Uh, it, it even has soy. Look how nicely soy is doing. Look at that nice move up in soybeans um, at 80, 884 and five, up, up five and a half, five and three quarters now at 884. And that's really nice. And then we have soy, uh, so we have W, what's uh, W's wheat, um, up nicely at 466 and a half, at three quarters actually. Um, hey, I'm. That's just the way we're doing it. We've got a copper stock that ran at one point today was up 46, 43 uh, percent from where we bought it, pulling back just a tad now. I, you can't get back into positions if you get in into them really well. That was my thinking. Okay. Oh, I lost my chart. Oh man, let's just do this again. Have I got to say it all over again? No way. I'll do it again. There we go. I'll just do this real quickly. Here's, here's wheat. Look at that nice chart. Can you see? Let me just have a look here. Right, I should have had this up so I can see what you're seeing. Okay, so we're looking. Okay, so come back. Are we on? Are we on? I got my chart. Al, you got my chart? You should have my chart. Um, all right, so I'm, I'm saying that we have an ETN that, that has this as a package. Gold, um, I don't see. It doesn't stay up. Now, I don't know what that's all about. Maybe during the next break, I'll have to do something. But anyway, I'm sorry that you can't see the chart. I'll just keep talking. doesn't matter because there's nothing yet that we want to do because the market so far, oh, I can't even show you the 10-minute chart. Look at this 10-minute chart going to leg D. Oh, and I circled it and everything. All right, we've got a break coming up. I'm going to try to come back now. Oh, chart okay now. All right, we're back on chart transfer. You see that? I circled it a little bit above on the E-mini, 10 minutes above 1998.25. That will be the target for leg D. All right, I'll run that again. So not a big deal. We're sitting in long positions. We can take a break. We'll take a break. We'll be back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. 
Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Basil takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. We're back. Everything seems to be working. And uh, let's, uh, let's go right through. So, this is the W that I was showing. This is wheat, a continuous contract. Nice move up. I was showing you the. Um, can't remember now if I showed you crude oil, crude oil leg D, very strong move. It's at 36.91, up one. Uh, let me just double check. So, yep. And this is really important. Why? Because in the 120 minute chart, we've gone to a leg D. So, what happens in the next four hours or so? Let's go into tomorrow morning. Between now and, and tomorrow morning, you'll see in the 120 minute chart uh, an up channel. We went to the, the higher reading into the Chapman Wave sell zone, and yet uh, we've pulled back. We're holding the nine-period moving average of 36.46. I just think that crude oil is playing catch-up. It's really nice that it's moving here. A question I had about um, crude oil, if it can hold above 37.75, uh, would that be a new bull trend? I have to tell you that I'm already in D in the daily. That's number one. I'm only in leg A in the weekly, but if the week... I need to go all week to see the weekly chart. It needs to close above 36.98. What did you say? 37.75. Yeah, Judy, that, the way I'm looking at it is that the MACD and Stochastic have turned up there. It, it isn't the the the, bait, the, theta, the, the, the distance between the fast-moving average and the slow-moving average to me is really important if we can hold, expand, and then hold in the MACD, especially the MACD, but also the stochastic. Um, so I need to see that. This is just like the first two hours of the week. So all I can say is that I love the action in terms of attempting to find a base that's a little bit better base than that was formed back in, or in or late August of last year. Uh, there seems to be credence to say that this move has the potential, as long as the crude oil holds above 33 to 32, this week actually shouldn't even get there. I'm just saying that on the weekly basis, that would, that, that would be 33s would be a major support. But on a daily basis, 34.70 to 34.20, I think that should be support. And then there should be a balance. So I think it's playing catch up. And now gold, a gold can, in fact, in the daily chart, we in, in G slash C, still an arch formation, I believe, above the rectangle formation. And gold could go one more pop to the upside to 1280.70. But if you're looking at it in relation to silver, silver is trying to rally. It's had a nice move, but I need to see the SLV trading at 1488, up 11 cents. I really need to see that 
trading in the 1450 to 15 area by the end of the week. If that happens, we've got all the little ducks lined up. And then I, I would say that the commodity index is starting to show that for the first time, there's enough resiliency there. There's enough, um, there are enough short covering um, f uh, hedge funds that are possibly going to maybe switch to the long side. And this is the week that we will see that. I'm anticipating early weakness and choppiness this week. And later in the week, we go to new recovery highs in the general markets. No, can't, you lost the chart again? I don't believe it. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, so there I am showing the chart and it's not there. Um, I, 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 wait, uh, I don't know if that's current. Is that current? that you just lost it, now you have it. Gee, I don't even know what's going on here. All I know is that I'm going to keep doing the show um, as I am because um, that's important. How High-grade copper. High-grade copper is holding really well at 2.27. Stop dead at that orange line. That's a 200-period exponential moving average in leg E. Now, it's really important. Let me just look at the JJC. We do not have the JJC. We have another copper, copper stock. This is an ETN. Um, this is the... Uh, IPATH Bloomberg Copper Trust ETN. So it's made up in, of notes. And look at that weekly chart. The JJC says, yes, this is a nice move to the upside. Don't get too carried away because you have to see where pullbacks occur and how they occur and how quick they, they pull back. So JJC, which is this copper ETN, which really trades very well, uh, very similar to uh, copper, or it should be exact. It's not, it's not usually exact, but it's really close. Um, let me just show you, there's the down, identify the lowest, most obvious low bar, start your wave count, A, B, C, this is a little different. This went to a D, pulls back, starts another A, B, C, and he has a second D. So this is a different chart pattern uh, to the one we were looking at before. Question should be, and nobody ever asks me, but how come when you get to the last D, every other D you just quickly put in a down arrow, but when you get to the last D, you just put that usual plus sign. Um, and the, the answer is because we just made it. The stochastics are 92%. The MACD is still good. This could still go to an E. I don't see this yet as a, as, as a, a, a mini top. And the weekly chart is holding very well. But you're only two and a half hours into the, uh, just over, no, not even two hours into the opening of the week. So this chart is an A to a B, and it's acting very well with the stochastic and MACD rallying very nicely. Copper seems to me to be coming out of its lethargy and finally showing enough emphasis that this weekly chart of the JJC is way better than actual copper itself. Look, HG, the copper continuous contract, went to an A and then failed. This is an A and a B, and it's holding very well. Look at the JJC. JJC. Looks the same. <laughs> so much for that. Um, let's look at the uh, JJC Daily and the High Grade Copper. That's the one that was different. Uh, and I, whoops, I typed it on the chart. I should not type it on the chart. I should type it in that little box right there. At HG. Oh, the guy that invented the at just died. This is the guy on the internet who really uh, was a major force in making it into a, a, a commercial viable product. The guy who designed uh, who decided that the at would be the uh, acronym, I don't even know what you call it, um, the gateway into the internet, uh, I believe just died. Sorry about that. So A, B, because that's an A right there, A, B, C, little A, B right here, then it goes D, E. So we're at E. We're in E in the high-grade copper daily. And it's holding very well. And um, as I say, we're fortunate that we do have a copper stock that's uh, just bounced uh, about 40, 40, 40 or 42% in a matter of less than a week. I, I, yeah, that's very nice. I like that. All right. So now let's go with the numbers. Yeah. You got the S&P, SPX.X, um, holding at that 200 period exponential moving average. This is where you should see quite a lot of action up and down, up and down around this. And that's what I'm saying is a consolidation a few days coming up. That's number one. Number two is the monthly chart is still holding well. It's testing the nine period exponential moving average. I'm in the, I'm in the midst here of a discussion. No, I shouldn't say in the midst, a continuing discussion for months now about the, the off. It just disappeared. Now it's gone. Now it's back. 
Hey, yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure it's on my side, but maybe it is. But I'm, none of my charts and uh, trading uh, uh, platform, anything, has stopped working. Everything's working just great. So I'm not sure what the, what the, if it's a connection problem or why. But the SPS is a leg D, probably making a peak D today. I've circled this area right here because there's a chance that that's the area that we're going to have to make really big decisions about. I, the way, let me go back to what I was saying before. I've been discussing the monthly charts with someone who does a lot of Elliott Wave work, fabulous, fabulous Elliott Wave, Elliott wave work. Uh, and I'm saying, I'm impressed that we've been consolidating for a year and we've only pulled back 15, 14 to 15%, 16% on the different indices after a whole year. And that we've rallied and we've rallied. Look, the Dow is only 1,300 points away from its all-time high. Something, something's very positive about this picture. Something is also saying, hey, there's another shoe that should be dropping very soon. So let me do this. I just want to say that gold is right now, gold is down two, three dollars at 12.68. And I'll be back and we'll talk about these other areas. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. Basil Chapman, Tag Technicians. Now, let's finish up the numbers here. So, I wanted to do this. So, this is, I had a question about the HYG. I was going to go to Bond. So, this is very good. Hey, just disappeared. HYG, how did that happen? HYG um, is 
Look, the low, this is the iShares iBox dollar high yield corporate bond ETF. And it's made this beautiful arch. I say beautiful, look, this is, going, this is not a, a judgmental thing. This is just a, an artistic thing. A beautiful arch formation. Kind of shows distribution. Made a low at one point that was in March of 2009 at 61.50. Ran up three peak Ds, went to just under the 200 period moving orange, the orange line moving average at 96.30. And then it comes back down here, trough A, trough B, trough C, and it's in trough, it's actually leg D until the month is finished, but it could very well make a trough at 75.09. Question is, I don't know what the question is. The question is, um, Bob wants to know, uh, generic, generic Internet Wave blog. Oh, no, this is this is the, um, the, the high-grade High yield ETF uptrend. Yeah, so this is very important. I have to consider that the daily chart isn't an uptrend. The monthly chart says, hey, hey, be careful. The weekly chart says, oh, nice bounce, but uh, beginning of the next week, this is a leg A, could be a peak A. Stochastic and MACD are improving, but really until 80.94 right now and up eight cents until the 82.30 area is hit. If it gets hit, by this week is fantastic because it says there's a v-shaped recovery now what is that saying it's saying that the high yield um corporate bond etf is running and it's also saying that the magd and the daily and the stochastic are really very good so here are the parameters if you're long i'm going to say fine stay there um and if you are not what would you do i'd have to say you could, it's because it's it's got to do with bonds and bonds, once they find a trend, sometimes can stay in that trend a little while. I'm just going to suggest that you could nibble right here, but this is really not the position. You want to have a little patience to see how does it handle 80.20 to 79.50. That's the, the nine period moving average is at 80.06. So that's really where you want to start thinking about, do I to put in a buy here if the MACD and stochastic are still holding well, or do I just watch this? Now, I don't know if you're trading it, Bob, but if you are trading it and you're in it, you're looking good. This is a D with a doji candle, which says be careful because in the next two days, today and tomorrow, if by tomorrow 80.50 is taken out and it closes under that, it could have one little pop to test the candle of, of Friday, but there's a good chance it's going to test the 80.05 area, the nine period moving average. And if it does exactly the opposite by tomorrow, it closes above 81.24. It's going to have to be a big move. 81.24, um, that's going to suggest, yes, you could have one little pop to test this candle of Friday. That's the candle that opened at, um, let's call it 80.80. And, uh, and then it should try to go for leg E. Let you go a little higher. So this is going to be very important. Um, and why do I make a fuss about the near term? Because the near term is your rudder, and that's going to tell you whether or not that weak, because if this uh, slides into the 79.54 area, uh, 70, uh, under 79.30 into the 78 area within three days, it's saying, hey, 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 this is, this is not good action at all on the weekly. We have to wait a little bit to see if strength returns and the stochastic is still holding about maybe 85% to 83%, going under 80%, so just be careful. So yes, if you're in it, hold it. Um, I just have, I, I'd have a stop on one part of my position at about 78.90. Hope that helps you. All right, let's go on. Oops, did I lose that again? Up off and it'll come back again maybe. we got this swinging uh, uh, high fire, whatever it's called, that keeps coming in and out. Um, yep, there it's back again. Okay, so we're back. Now let's do this. So I want you to just one more time show you the gold index. The gold index says, this is the pattern that I've been drawing. I drew the pattern lower down. And I said that in this rectangle formation with that flag pole and the rectangle, normally you'd get an inside buy in the 120 minute chart, if that's a daily chart, should take you to at least a D, maybe even an E, but it should stall just under exactly on when i say exactly on i mean within ticks of that previous left side uh, high or just above and then pull back and that's the test on the pullback is going to say is it going to go all the way down to the bottom of the rectangle or is it going to find support in nine ema or a trough on the left side or a midpoint and that midpoint would be 1224 in gold trading at it's down three at 1267. um so this is going to be very important nice legs see up 
in the weekly. Weekly is looking good. Stochastic's at 87%. Magdi's good. We were just talking about gold under 1050. Now it's at 1267. This is the start of something that we cannot stand in the way of right now until we get charts that really just knock it for a loop and say, uh oh, gold is now trading under 1150. That's really not good. But right now, 1267 looks like it wants to make a, a left side, right side price time match of the, of the high that was made. At least this area between 12, uh, 1302 and 1311 that was made back in January. And I've got a time price that says by the 25th of this month, the week of the 25th, that's next week. No, that's two weeks' time. You've got until two weeks to get to that level, and gold is acting well. So that's the reason we I thought we've missed the, the moving gold. I didn't the risk reward was a little high to be able to just jump in. Instead, we grabbed a, an ETN that has a mix of all these different uh, commodities. It's acting beautifully. It's up today. Uh, I don't know what it is on a percentage basis, I'll tell you right now. It's up 1.48%. Um, so since we bought it at uh, 12. 79 it's at 1335 so it is acting well and that's i had to do that by by giving up what might have been um if we did get the I, I, iau the gold the gld mini gld and held it uh much earlier on which we we ha had it and i i don't know what i did it was a bit dumb i just didn't believe that the acceleration would be so quick and so sharp so, uh, you know, i got to congratulate Tom. Tom's been talking about it, and it's just a fabulous move. So, yeah, we are. Um, so that's that. Now, I just want you to talk about the T-bonds for a moment. The TLT is trading uh, um, at 128.48, down 12 cents. This is a trough C, and here again, we've got not a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. No, it's a not yet one-to-one. -one. But there's a possibility we could get that. Let me just draw this in here. Let me just draw in. Let me get it exactly right. Let me draw in uh, Chapman Wave one to one extension. And this is the parallel one. It should take the same amount of time. Well, it didn't. It hasn't gotten there and it's taken a little bit longer. So uh, um, bonds are finding support on the nine period exponential moving average of 128.17, uh, 128.12 uh, in the weekly chart. The low today is uh, 120. The low Friday was 127.76. Today's is 128.05. So let me show you, for those trading uh, your S&P, you remember I showed this earlier, I hope it, it showed, I said that this is my circle, that was the circle right there, and we've gone to a leg D in the Chapman wave as, as projected in the E-mini. In fact, it didn't just go there, it knocked it for a loop. One of the reasons, I'm going to repeat again, one of the reasons why I just, I, I took out, I blipped it right off my trader's corner from my, my newsletter today, was the fact that I wanted to switch from the long side to the short side in in two areas. One was the one was the Dow, and the other one was gold. And then I said, "What are you thinking about? The trend is your friend. Why would you fight the trend just to get another point?" To the stir? Thank goodness we've stayed in it at least for now. Thank goodness. But if you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date, active trading information that will 
will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE -E or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. We're back. Let me just show you what I'm looking at here. This is the E-mini. This is leg D. Now we can have a little bit of a stalling maybe as we get into it's kind of the lunch hour. Um, but this is really very nice action. This is the reason why... Um, You've got to know. You've got to know when you get into positions that are closer to lows than highs. Whether you got beforehand, you've got to have a good sense of whether or not it has the potential to become a starter position that, without doing anything, morphs into a more intermediate term position and then that intermediate term position just might morph into because the weekly starts to improve remember that's what happened oh today's anniversary on the 9th of march 2009 we bought the dow diamonds at i think 6650 um key where are the diamonds trading today 170.63 we did get out with a real in the 90s or something. I think we just got stopped out and then it went higher. But hey, can't complain. That was a huge gain and we had it for about 18 months. So, um, wow, well, but look at it. If you could just buy and hold and forget about it, I mean, you could just go, you could go anywhere in the world. Just, you don't even have to look. You don't even have to get a newspaper. You just wake up and say, like a Rip Van Winkle. Well, let's go to Brent and Martinez. Brent, how are you? I'm doing wonderful, Basil. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Very good. I had a question about natural gas. You know, I'm always looking for stuff that's completely beaten down. But uh, yes. my, my, my specific question is, I think you've talked about this before, but I thought it was very interesting in the, uh, I'm looking at the NGJ contract. NGJ the, contract, got it right in front of me, yeah. yes. So I have the low as 1.611. And then I have today's low is 1.612, which is just so that's one, a trough. One. Yeah, so I just interesting that we got that close within whatever it is, uh, one one thousand or whatever. Of, right, actually less. So. Yes, yes, point. Whatever it is. So <laughs> this begins. This begins leg A. And in a sense, it's not an engulfing because it didn't go below Friday's low, but boy, it is a whopping candle. But what's really interesting is that the weekly chart has the potential, <clears throat> with a stochastic at 5.95%, has the potential to make a V-shaped bottom. The unbalanced volume has the potential to do that. I have a couple of other indicators within the uh, the, the, the two. This is the MACD uh, sequence over there, and here's the stochastic sequence over here. And within it, I've got a bunch of other indicators. But what's really important to me is that if you're looking at the histogram, and this is just the beginning of the week, the low in the histogram is 1.611. Uh, no, no, oops, I'm sorry. The histogram has histogram, histogram. Where did it disappear to? Um, uh, yes, the, the low in the histogram is just fractionally higher as well 
so far this week. And that would imply that if the, the zero percent line, if it was getting closer to the zero percent line within two weeks, that natural gas could finally, and I have to say finally, I'm going to go to the, the continuous contract because that I've got notated. Um, that's going to show me, oh, I've got it notated because it's a continuous contract, the, the letters sometimes slide around. This is what we're looking at. The um, weekly chart went to a D and then it went to trough A, trough B, trough C, trough D, and this is trough E. And all of a sudden, you've got the same sort of sequence as you've seen before, which means this is the first time that we can consider that the, um, the MACD, which is higher now than it was before, uh, that was in the November, no, December, uh, December 18th week, the MACD is higher now than it was then. The stochastic is higher now. So the, for the first time, we're looking at a positive divergence, and that positive divergence says, if natural, are you, do you have a position in it? Did you buy UNG? I I'm looking very seriously at it. I'm thinking about starting something here, just at least a starter position. So, so let me do this. Why are we, why we talking about UNG? It's at, almost at the high of the day. It's in leg B up in, in the 120-minute chart. I would start a position right now as we're speaking for two reasons. One is it'll be a starter position. So it's not your full position. Well, I don't want to tell you how to trade because you really do that very well. You might even want to buy a call, a call position on it. But what I am looking at is that the turnaround that we're seeing right now, the first two hours, two and a little bit hours of the week, has the candle taking out not just, um, um, let's see, not just the high of the week of the, th the 2nd of March, where it was still going down to uh, the low of two weeks ago at 5. I'm looking at the UNG, the low of 578. But what's happening is it has the chance this week to tackle the top of the candle at 630, the week of the 1st of March. If it does that, and it... It doesn't have to close above there, but it must close above the six, 16 area, which is the nine period moving average. Then all of a sudden, what becomes active is the nine period exponential moving average in the weekly. That's why I love to do, I love to have on my chart here the four time frames because what it's saying, just forget about the leg F and the downside in the monthly chart. You can't even talk monthly charts until you get the 120 minute chart essentially going above the high of um, 6.30 on the 1st of uh, March. You turn around and you say, hey, that's the same high, of course, as the daily. So if it breaks the daily, then it's saying the, the rudder has started to turn sharply up. And because it's turning up, the, the weekly trend is always a little more sluggish to follow. But it allows you to say, hey, I've got very good support now. In the six six dollar to five ninety area, it really shouldn't even come close to that. I would say six twenty to six fifteen should be six yeah six twenty to six fifteen between now and Wednesday should be really strong support. So I think it's a good idea. Maybe you could start your position, and I would add to the position, but I'd probably say to you um, that it's the stop that you have on the short of, on the on the in, initial position is going to be very important and i'm also going to suggest i know it's a little difficult because of the percentages that we're talking about but at 616 i would need to have a stop at about 590 because 599 is the nine period exponential moving average in the 120 so you've got to give it a little room so a little starter position here with i'm talking 20 wow 20, oh, I don't like to do that. It's almost 25 cents. So that's like a 3%, um, a 3% stop. It's normally not what I like to do. But when you're coming off a bottom, you have to give it a little flexibility. Oh, somebody says uh, we're only seeing the HGY contract. I don't know what people are seeing in the den, but I've got the UNG up right now. So I don't know if something's frozen. Um, yeah, I can see that. That is really strange. Um well, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, so, Brent, I'm I'm showing the charts, but they're not they're not coming through. I don't believe, and that's a pity because I wanted to show that the UNG is right now testing the nine period exponential moving average, but the MACD is showing a nice turn to the upside. All my other indicators are suggesting that the six dollars to five ninety area should hold over the next day or two, 
And the big thing will be, how do you add to your position? You might have to wait for an A and a pullback, and on the pullback, you can add to the position. I hope that helps you. Oh, absolutely, Pals. I really appreciate all the analysis. Have a wonderful day. I'll, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Thank you very much. Good luck with the trade. Yes, Folks, we'll be back. I'll do a little refreshing again, see if we can't get these charts back again. Uh, Basil Chapman, the Dow's up 62. And I want to show this chart, even though you can't see it. Look at that leg D. What a beautiful D. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade, Thinkorswim, next on TFNN. Uh, yes, we're back. I'm not sure if the charts are showing. They should be, but I don't know why they're not. Anyway, um, so I'm just doing the same as I've done here for 20 years, well, 20 years, for 13 years. Um, so this is what I, a couple of questions I had. Um, number one is uh, ECB meeting. Yes, thank you. ECB meeting on Thursday. How do you approach central bank meetings? Do you stay long into the meeting? Ride the trend in uh, um, inequities. I, um, at this particular point, I'm going to try, yes, you can see the UNG. Okay, good. That, so Brent, uh, the whole discussion with Brent is right there. This is what we're looking at. So I'm, I'm going to change the chart now. I'm going to go to, just go to the XLF. Look how nicely the XLF is done. It's in leg D, maybe a peak D today. What do I do if you got in correctly? And this is my whole thing, that if you get in correctly, it gives you that comfort, a little bit of comfort to say, okay, anything can happen now. I'll put my stop in lower down. I want to get through it and then see if the trend can continue. That's all I can do. I might go if, if all the equity, if everything's working right into the meeting, I might say, let's just take off some of our positions. We can always come back in. 
I, I'm, I'm just not sure. I'll have to see what we do on Wednesday because my thinking here has been we would see a week early morning on Monday, uh, then a rally, and then we'd start to see a bit of a failure and then choppiness into Tuesday and maybe Wednesday mid-session. By Thursday and Friday, I was thinking we'd start the rally again. That's a big thing because we've got a lot of people talking about cycle dates and all that stuff. So all I can say is that if you're incorrect, it gives you room to breathe. If you're not, I, to protect yourself, you just have to sometimes get out and get back in, maybe get back in at a higher price. I don't like to do that. Next question about the VIX and the RUT. I'm just going to say that the RUT, the IWM, I didn't get to that chart because I had trouble. Well, at least I didn't know I had trouble, but that's what I seem to have had. The IWM projects... It's at 179. Now, I could be wrong with this, but I've got a left side, right side price projection to um, early next week. And that takes us to the 110.83 gap low. And the gap, sorry, the gap high, the gap low of the 31st of December was 112.51. So I think we get into this area right here by the 10th. That's within a couple of days. We should get into the 100, just into the 110s. We're at 108.76, and it's in leg C, and this has everything, every look about up. There goes the thing. It has every look about it that suggests um, that we are in, that we are on leg C, and it should go to a D. Next question I had was <clears throat> the stalk leg, the chap wave stalk leg formation. Can it work to the downside? Yes, you know I've done this a number of times over the years. I've shown that. <clears throat> Uh, where can I? T this is the Chapman Wave stalk leg to the upside. You've got a long leg made up of many other peaks, but it doesn't matter. It's like a straight up move. Then you go sideways with an oval formation, and then you break out above the high, and that takes you. So this is the leg, this is the body. Usually it's an oval, this is more um, round circle. And then it takes you to at least a D, maybe even an E as it did in the IWM. And at 129, it formed the, the, that's the neck then the head as it turned down, and then you got the beak. And this beak has continued, and right now you've got a bounce off the beak, and the bounce off the beak in a, in a Chapman Wave stalk leg formation can be really powerful. All right, let's do this as we're about to wrap up. You're going to go to your swimming lesson, great shows all day. Check out my opening call. If you got it on Friday, you got fabulous charts over the weekend that explains everything we're looking at. So here we go. I'm using the VIX index. The VIX index actually is very interesting. It's up 32 it's, it's come back from the high of the day. But what's happening is that people are getting a little nervous, and I was expecting some kind of a pop-up in the volatility index. It closed really weakly last week. We're going to see this is a very important week to see if that 200-period moving average in the weekly chart at uh, 1748 is going to kick in. Right now, it's at 1718. Make it simple. I suspect that, we, 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 that we're bumping into a lot of resistance, but you've got select movers up. You've got the commodity index acting still fabulously. You've got oil acting well. Gold might stall a little bit here, but you've got other commodities like wheat and corn that are actually moving the certain, the, certainly the ETN that we have on the commodities higher. I think that this is a consolidation phase right now, early in the week. I'm expecting that later in the week, we actually move higher. So that's it. Um, hey, have a wonderful day and uh, see you. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. This is TFNN.